Hey guys, Johnny and Lawrence back for the next episode of Project Ozone 3 Kappa Mode. Hello. Yeah, so last episode we did quite a bit from memory. So we went off to the deep dark and we mined up some of the... I can't remember exactly what they were, but... Boron. Uh, yeah, yeah lithium. Boron, lithium, I think. And then there was that pinky one. Mag... Mag... Magmanies? Mag Mag yeah, something Magnesium, like that. something like that. Yeah. Uh, we got started on our new mana craft setup, yep. which I have lost. I have also lost it. over here. <laughs> the one with the oh. giant square of never wreck on it. Yes, yes it does. So last time we made one air compressor, I've went ahead and made another four off camera, just because symmetry. the more you have, the faster, pretty much. Oh. Um, well, and symmetry. I mean, one is symmetrical, to be fair. <laughs> I guess, um, yeah. I've also went ahead and put a bunch of tiny coal here, which is what we'll use to fuel this. Um, the nether rack here, this is a placeholder for when we get into the pressure chamber, mm -hmm. which I think is probably going to be one of the first things we work on today. Yep. So first off, I want to set up automating the pressure of these uh, air compressors so that they don't explode, because about two seconds after we finished recording last time, one of them exploded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally Oops. forgot to set up the safety mechanism. Um, there are there are two things I want to do before you start that. Okay. One, th this we don't need the sugarcane anymore. No, we have it's a sugarcane bonsai pot actually over here. Insane how big this is, so I really want to hit it out and see how much falls Wait, down. Wait a minute, let me get a... A f big view of it. I can't even get back far enough. Oh, I hit something. <laughs> okay, I can't even get it all in camera, can I? Okay, it's almost all in camera. My god, this is huge. Yeah. It's in camera Ready? now. And go. Oh, you saw nothing from here. That <laughs> was really disappointing. Uh, okay, well, I've literally got sugar cane falling down from the sky. It and looked good from your side then, I guess. Weirdly, I, I don't know if a lot of it's fallen off, but I only got... Oh, no, wait, there's there is here. a lot here. I was going to say, I've only got like 80 in my inventory. <laughs> okay, uh, so that was one thing. I'm intrigued what the other thing was as well. I think you know the other thing. You mentioned it last time. Did I? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm so... Actually, let's not kill them. Let's... So we, we've got pretty much all the animal seeds now. Well, all the animals that are there. So we don't... Why can I not... Okay, um, so we don't need the animals, so I think we should get rid of them. But I was thinking we're using Nomadicraft at the moment, so why not make some more compressed iron while we do it? Oh, okay, <laughs> that works. There was one thing I was going to suggest. Okay. Maybe if we grab a soul vial of like each one, that way we can use it on a spawn or if need be. Okay, you go get the soul vials quickly. Oh, actually, that's the point. What you're getting them. Um, so I did go ahead and move our Ender I.O. stuff up to the Ender I.O. platform. I also went ahead and made a bunch more octatic capacitors because half these machines didn't even have capacitors in them because we kept stealing them and moving them around. So, so yeah, they all are powered now, which is a bit nicer. Um, How is... Uh... Uh, I just need to go make some fuse quartz. Okay, on the upside, that shouldn't take too long. I keep forgetting about our storage scanner. It's so <clears> annoying. Um, will I just get a lever or something for the the TNT? Yeah, that works. And maybe some redstone, actually. We might want to spread this out a little bit. Uh, there we go. There is some redstone. And I also... I'm going to get a few TNT. TNT. Just because I'm not sure of the range on TNT. Mm. So I kind of want to make sure that we actually get it all and I don't think this should damage the area because we've got feed the beast um claim chunks so I think it should be okay right yeah so I have one cow one sheep one pig one chicken no that does not work um, that works I'm not very good with redstone, it turns out. I could have told you that. Right. I am ready whenever you are. Yeah. Uh, hang on a second, let me just pop these in the system. You've got them? Yeah, I've got them. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna flick the lever. 
No, I'm not. Cow, get out. That's gone. I got it. Yep. Are we ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got them all. <laughs> oh, well, that's probably. You know what's a... beautiful about this? Can you hear that silence? I know. Oh, they are so annoying. And we can also reuse this platform for something else now. Uh, yeah, there isn't actually any other mobs, uh, passive mobs we'll be needing, is there? No. Okay. Maybe secondary draw storage. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But what I want to work on now then is the pressure gauge tube, which is, it looks really simple actually. Um, so I think I mentioned this last episode and basically this emits a redstone signal based on the amount of pressure in a tube. So I am, um, is it 15 redstone goes up to? Yes, so it is. Actually, we should maybe demonstrate that. Do you have a lever or anything to make a redstone signal? Uh, no, no. Absolutely okay. no. Right, I will go grab our lever quickly from... <laughs> Actually, I could just show it on here. So you see, uh, what am I looking at? It says there's a power of 15, because it's right next to a redstone source. And every block away, it drops. So this is how the pressure readout works, basically. So the further away you get, the lower... No, sorry, the higher the pressure gets, the higher the signal is emitted. So we're going to want to put the the pressure gauge, I think, maybe here. And you'll see it is... Actually, if we just put down some redstone, it's emitting nothing just now. Um, I'm actually going to put this in a loop quickly so that we can build up some pressure. And use maybe enter I.O. item conduits just to extract some of this coal. So all is active. Insert. Actually, should I just do one? Because yeah. I don't want it to blow up while I'm setting this up. Or, yeah, no, that's... I mean, if it does, it's That's going to take a very long time. Okay, let's just, let's just insert into the mall, and we will worry about it blowing up. And what are you going to say if it does? I'm pretty sure we could make some more. Yeah, we could, but that would be a hassle. So the pressure's climbing slightly faster now, at least. What are we at? 6,000 millibuckets. Wow. Okay, so we will give that a second, but in the meantime, what we want to do is we're going to want to compare this redstone signal to whatever signal we actually want to compare it to. And I think you do that with a comparator? Comparator, yes. Yeah. So I forgot to totally go ahead and make one of these, so I will quickly run home. Do you want to sleep, actually? Yeah. It's getting a little dark. And can we just make this? I'm hoping we just have all the stuff. We do. And another thing I want to make, so so we can actually set the signal we want to make, like compared to, I'm going to make the potentiometer from Draconic Evolution. So this is basically just lets you say, like set whatever redstone signal you want. Otherwise, you pretty much have to put down a redstone source and then run redstone until it's as weak as you want it to be. And I don't want to do that. I want to have it reasonably compact. Okay, so now I believe you insert one into the back and one into the side, and this will emit a signal if they are the same or higher. Is that how that works? I guess so. No, I'm asking you. <laughs> I, I have apps I cannot remember. Okay, so... Because... Yeah, Good so one. this will be comparing the red zone coming from the back. Yeah, I was just said, yeah. is that right? Yeah, I think <laughs> I that is right. I thought they did re-say it all. I'm just, just double-checking. I have to talk these things through or I have no idea what I'm doing. All right, well, the easier way to check will be, so every time I click this, it emits a different signal, well, incrementally, so it's up to five now. And as soon as we go to six, that turns off because yeah. this has only got a readout of five at the moment. Yes. So that is, that's doing exactly what we want. You'll see it's just came back on because, well, because it's now over. But I don't want to use redstone. I want to use Ender IO redstone conduits. Because I think, well, mainly because I can put them in the same block as as these. Um, you will notice, annoyingly, they do not connect by default. But we can fix that with a wrench, I believe. Um, I think so, yeah. I can't remember what the wrench is called, to be honest. The Yetta wrench. Oh, okay. So I thought I just boop this. Nope. Uh, shift boop it? Nope. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm on the wrong setting. How do I disconnect you? There we go. Boop, boop. And I think we can... 
Actually, you can... Uh, yeah, come on, redstone. There we go. So we want to input a redstone signal. And we'll do on red just because that's easiest. Because it's the default. And you'll see it starts connecting to them all. Is that Ooh. not outputting? No. Is it? I thought I clicked on the... Yeah. Oh, it's... Yep, yeah, sorry. Yep, you're right. Ignore me, so... It kind of, I think the terminology is a bit weird here. So we want to output the redstone signal from... Did it just blow up? Yes. Totally just blew up. Oh, well. That is annoying. Oops. <laughs> Make the loop slightly smaller. And you might want to hurry up because that's already up. I've just turned off the... Ah, okay. Can you go empty out all the... Pressure. Yeah. No, not the pressure. The, the coal. Put the pressure back together. <laughs> It's fine. I've done it while you were faffing about doing the wrong thing. I was helping. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now we're doing this wrong. So I want to, yeah, input on signal red, and I want to output on signal red to all these guys. So redstone, output red, redstone, output red, redstone, output red. And you, you, you kind of get the idea here, I feel. <laughs> um, I maybe should set it to strong signal. Hmm just because that way it doesn't matter what it is. So the way this works actually, we'll see it's just over four at the moment and that's outputting eight. So for every half um, pressure, it goes up by one. So we probably want to try and have it set in about 4.5. So I think if this is over nine, that would be, that is right, yeah? There you go. Then we want it to emit a signal. And now we need to configure all these to enable on low signal. So if it doesn't have a redstone signal, it'll be on. If it does have a redstone signal, it should turn off. I think that's right. Yep. That sounds right. <laughs> okay, well, there's one way to check. We can uh, turn back on the, the system and see what happens. So hopefully these should all fill up with coal. Maybe, or maybe they won't. Extract. That one's got coal. What? That one's got cold. Oh, okay. Maybe I was just... Yeah, this doesn't have any speed upgrades, I suppose. We should maybe put speed upgrades in that. Do you want to put... Have you got some? Uh, no, I can go make some. I'll turn on round robin, robin as well, and that'll mean that basically it'll evenly distribute to all these rather than filling up one and then moving on to the next. I think that's a good idea. So we're now setting a... Oh, oh, that's perfect, I think. So you'll see the flame animation is no longer going because we're sitting at 4.6 bar. If I, I think just if I break one of these bits, we see the pressure drops and instantly that turns back on. So that is doing exactly what we want. The other reason I'm using a tiny coal is because it doesn't give you a lot of pressure. So if we were putting full chunks of coal in here and it switched off, all five of these burning a bit of coal might still make too much pressure to blow up. Whereas the tiny coal, hopefully we shouldn't have that issue. It's kind of my logic there. Makes sense. Yeah. What are you working on, by the way? I, I'm literally making those speed upgrades for you. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot. Like mm -hmm. I asked for them like a whole second ago. You are quite forgetful. Yeah. So now that we've kind of got our pressure generation sorted, I think, I would like to start working on the pressure chamber. Yeah. And and this is a big multi-block, well I say a big, it can either be a 3x3 three three or a 5x5 five five. and that's what we've laid out this nether rack for just as a, a reference as to where we're wanting. I don't think we're going to go straight to the 5. Actually, should we just go straight to the 5x5? Five five? I guess. Can we? Or does that need more pressure? Uh, I don't mm. know. Uh, yeah, let, let's give it a try. I mean, worst case scenario, we've got too much materials and we can make it smaller. Mm. So for that, we need a pressure chamber valve. Oh yeah. So this is where we need all that advanced plating and stuff, which is why we went to the, the blah, blah, deep dark. Yep. Last time. One. And also I think you very kindly made us some extreme alloy, if I'm not mistaken. No. No, I made this hard is what we carbon need to do. alloy. I forgot a step. We need to make the alloy furnace from nuclear craft. But I believe you have got all the stuff together for that. I think so. I think they're all in the system, to be honest. Oh, okay. That's where you put stuff. Oh, okay. Well, I, I think the only thing I didn't make was the steel frame. Because you just steel frame. 
I don't even see a steel. Oh, this is the manufacturer. Oh, this is another thing we wanted to make. But I may have decided against it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm deciding against that. <laughs> we'll make the manufacturer later. So the only reason I was considering that is because we need it to unlock the quest for um, nuclear craft. Nuclear craft. But we don't really need it just now. So for the pressure chamber, we need this extreme alloy, which is made in the nuclear craft specifically alloy furnace. And for that, we need tough alloy, which I believe we've already made. Yep. And hard carbon alloy, which we made before recording, but it is literally just diamonds and coal, yeah. I believe. Yep. You take so, two coal and a diamond into yeah. the smelter and it does it. Two it coal to one diamond. It's quite easy. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Um, so the, the alloy furnace is all stuff we've seen before, I think. I know it's an enhanced alloy smelter, which is kind of expensive, but I went ahead and made one of those. Oh, we can make this machine frame. That was quite easy. Probably could have did that beforehand. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, well. um, but the rest of this stuff, yep. So we've got it all. Steel frame, we just made two emerald furnaces. Obviously, we made them while we were going through the crazy furnace quests. Um, which, to be fair, are well worth it because the Zenith Furnace is crazy. The Zenith Furnace is crazy. It's crazy good. Crazy good. Does this accept RF? It does. That's what I like to hear. And now, did we actually go ahead and crush any of this stuff? That will probably be the next thing. Hard carbon. Oh, wait, do we even need to crush it? Or am I... No, we don't need to crush it. Ignore me. <laughs> uh, actually, can I just do... Liar, if I can spell. Is there any other use for this, or should I just like literally do it all? Hmm. Hmm. No, oh, I can't do it all because I keep shift clicking stuff out of the system, and it's left click to grab a stack. It is so stupid. Yeah, that really is backwards. It's weird. I know, right? Okay, there is a few uses for this stuff. Okay, I'll just do half a stack then. I think. Um, not that we're even going to need that much. I just prefer doing stuff in bulk. Yes. Yeah, it's good that if you need to come back to it and I was like, oh, there's already something in the system. Thank you. Oh Pause my me. god, this is slow. This is so slow. How slow is it? It's, uh, is this slow? Yeah. Oh wow, that is quite slow. Yeah, that is slow. So, Nuclear Craft does have, um, speed upgrades? Yes. I don't know if they're cheap. Oh my god, they're cheap. Yes. <laughs> yes, we are making so many of these. You might want to make the energy upgrades as well. Uh, do I care? Uh, yes, because the speed upgrades increase the energy use exponentially. So after you put in like two, we won't be able to run it. Really? Yes. Even on like our setup? Yes. Wow, that's uh. Remember, we can only transfer like 4,000 RF per tick. Oh yeah, sorry, I just realized guys, I'm grabbing stuff from the mob farm and you're probably wondering, what is this stupid thing? But uh, we need a lot of red carbon because I, not red carbon, red alloy. Reds, yeah. Um, and that's made with one stack of iron and eight stacks of redstone and it's a pain because it fills up your inventory if you want to make lots. So we just basically made one of these ender IO crafters, extracted automatically into it and we're dumping in this chest. The only reason I've turned it off is Apparently our thousands and thousands of redstone means nothing to red alloy. We went through a hundred stacks in like 10 seconds or even... Yeah, it really does destroy like any reserves of redstone you have. Yeah. It is, it is bad. It's insane. Very, very bad. So I have gone ahead and made five speed upgrades. <laughs> <laughs> because I've forgotten the lapis. <laughs> you always forget something. Yeah, well... I've made 21. I feel like I had the stuff to make more. Did I only grab like a tiny amount of lapis? I thought I shift clicked. One, two. That is two stacks. Oh. Oh, if I look to the recipe, I'm doing it all wrong is why. Oh. Uh, I'm thinking it takes two each, but it takes four each. Anyway, we have 41 speed upgrades and you said I need energy ones? Yes. Well, I'm just going to search for upgrade because that's going to be easier. Um, nah. Nah, I don't feel like doing that. Um, that looks like a pain. Well, I'll have a look. It's because we need pulverized obsidian. Is our pulverizer fast? Um, 
reasonably so, I think. Mm, pulverizer. Why is this pulverizing copper ore? Because we need it for the slag, for your frisium, and everything else. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, Lawrence went ahead and made us a bunch more frisium and garfax so we can work on some of the next tier seeds. We may actually do one of the tier three just to see if we can do a few of them off stream. When did you start making pyrothium dust? I made it ages ago. All right. I did not know we had... Oh, well. Well, yeah, because we need it for the I want to see how bad this is. Speed upgrades. Boom. Wow. Energy is gone. It's using yeah. 70,000 RF per tick. And that won't ever complete because... That is will, crazy. It will go part of the way and it will go, oh, I don't have any energy. And then it will reset. Yeah, well, we have the... Oh, this is actually not too bad. Okay, so we've got the pulverized. I think we should have some quartz over here. Nope, can't see it. Crushed quartz. There we go. Crushed quartz. I knew it was somewhere around there. And then we can make a bunch of these, hopefully. And by that, I mean 16. So, so do these essentially cancel out the speed upgrades? No, they don't cancel out. They sort of reduce the energy uh, use. So they'll... It won't cancel it out entirely, but it will bring it down to, instead of it being exponential, I think it's linear. Yeah, okay. Well, that's not bad. I mean, I'm up to 34 speed upgrades and it's still coping. Okay, it took all 41 speed upgrades. It's using 4,050 RF per tick. But we can output 9,000, so that's fine. Because I no, only no, because can't. I happened to place it next to the energy cell. Oh, okay. If I placed it anywhere else, I don't think the hardened flux duct can. No, that, that can only do four thousand. Ah, okay. Well, there is our things that we were making that I forgot the name of. <laughs> so that's good. We don't have any advanced plating. We don't have any redstone. This is crazy, man. Are you sure it's just not redstone is somewhere else? Yeah, red. So the problem with our setup is it pushes all the redstone to our mob farm, so there's never any redstone in the system. <laughs> Which is maybe a bit of a Steady stupid idea. design, but it but works. It. We haven't been bothered to fix it, so meh. Okay, I've made a bunch of them because I am fed up with us just not having the stuff. Let's make eight of them. Cool. Done. 16. Gonna make a stack of them. I don't know how many I need. I don't, I know I need two inputs, so I can do. So I say two inputs. Uh, this is an interface, so one will be an input and one will be an output. Is how that will work. Um, and I just realized for automation, I suppose technically you could have more than one set of interfaces, and then you could. Um, this is greenhouse glass. What? This is crazy. This is all crazy, Lawrence. I don't think we've made greenhouse glass. It's all right. It's quite simple. Um, <laughs> it's just that uh, wasn't expecting that step, pretty much. Okay, so here is some um, pressure chamber glass. One stack. That'll be fine, I think. And I'm getting shot by a skeleton? Yeah, Why? I don't know where. We can't see them. No, I see the arrow for So he came from over this. He... No. Oh! Oh, so you know our um, passive mob farm? It's it's became a mob farm is what's happened there. Did you forget that you've blown up the torches? Yeah, I, t I totally forgot. There was no longer any torches down there. So bye-bye, uh, Mr. Creepy. Mr. Creepy? I, I meant to say creeper. It just kind of did not come out right. Okay, die, die, die. Come on. Die, 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 die. Go. Cool. Torch. Where is my torches? Torch, 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 torch. I can never find anything in the dank now. Is that light enough? Mm, guess so. I pressed F7 and nothing changed, so I will take that as a good thing. Maybe? I would assume so. Okay, can we... Oh, no, I didn't make enough of the advanced plating. That's crazy. Right, pressure chamber valve got done. That should be a quest. That is... That is yeah, it is a quest. Just <laughs> took a while. Also, everybody watching may have noticed that I totally didn't count how many I would need for a 5x5, five five, so this is just going to be optimism. <laughs> optimism. Guesstimating. Yeah, I wasn't even guesstimating, I just made some no. stuff. 
So this is a 5x5, five five, so I'm guessing already I am seeing this is not enough. Um, Lawrence, would you be so kind to make me maybe another two stacks of a pressure chamber walls? Actually, hmm, maybe not. Maybe not, because I just realized we have some glass. We can use some of that as well. And can you sleep? Because this is all spawnable, and I don't I want suppose. Creeper blowing up my pressure chamber. Actually, you might be able to. I've not checked the Feed the Beast thing in a long time. We might no longer be uh, protecting mm. our base. No, we are still protecting our base. Okay. It's fine. Oh, this is good. Maybe just one stack of this stuff would be okay. So the pressure chamber wall. Yes. Um, where do we want to bring in... I don't know if we actually want to run pressure under the floor or if we want it to have it up. Hmm. Do you want it under the floor? I feel like we maybe, maybe one on the so. floor. Um, did you leave me any hard carbon you did? Oh yeah, I think I left half a stack of them. To be fair, if I hadn't, it would have been because I made it into pressure chamber stuff, so... Either way, yeah. we were pretty good. So, actually, mm, would it be nicer to have glass? I mm. mean, it might be nice to see what we're doing. Where did okay. you put the alloy smelter? Make a stack uh, is touching the redstone thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe a stack of glass and a stack of pressure chamber walls instead? Yeah, can do. So these interfaces are weird as well. So if I, I'm just going to put down, one down here on the floor, and you'll see one side says I, one side says O, um, I is for input, O is for output, and that is pretty much how it works. But it means to place these things is weirder than every other machine I've ever placed, pretty much. Because you can't just, like... I don't think you could even wrench them from memory. Um, but to get the output working, you actually need to put it on from the inside, which is dumb. So now this will be an output. <laughs> it's just such a weird system, I think. It is and a bit weird. There is the input. So now we need a lot more glass, some more walls. We're actually not that short. That was kind of close to what I was expecting. Uh, to what I was expecting. <laughs> to my random estimate is what I meant there. <laughs> but, I mean, I can live with that. Is that going to connect? It does. So the pressure chamber valve is where you pump your pressure into. So, looks like we got that set up okay. Oh, oh I forgot how to fly. <laughs> I survived. It's fine. I survived. Mm -hmm. um, I think I might go down here. So the safest way to run this pipe as well is rather than run it from here, because then we'll be losing pressure the whole time, if you run it from the destination, then you shouldn't ever lose any pressure because it'll just connect and be a sealed pipe. Like that, there was no loss. Whereas if I did it the other way around, you'd see as soon as we have an empty pipe, it just starts losing pressure. Which is not good. See, I'm sometimes clever. Mm, rarely. Let's see. So we're oh we're losing pressure big time. Oh 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 no I'm not clever. I'm not clever. I take it all back. I take it all back <laughs> because I'm pumping pressure into an incomplete pressure chamber. <laughs> so, so it's just all spread out. It's like why are we losing pressure? But yeah, if you try and just pump pressure into the air, <laughs> it doesn't pressurize. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's a little silly. How are the walls and uh, slowly, glass coming along? Really? So slowly, I'm having to make like basic plating. What? Oh, I've got 42. Does that help? <sighs> yeah. Does that help? Well, not now. I've already made it now. You made it now? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, well, there's, there's a load in the system. You could have just said. <laughs> Do you have any tough alloy? Uh, no. You shouldn't need it, do you? Yeah, for the advanced There's plating. There's in the system. Do you have any plating? Well, I just put it all in the system. Okay, just all right. Just shift click it in. <laughs> Shh. I'm literally waiting on, like, Shh. one thing so we can see if this uh, machine works or not. Okay, all right. Let me try again. And let me get, um, what we could, do you know if translocators work with, uh, the mm, thing no i can't idea. see any reason why not actually let's get four translocators and we will set up some 
very, very basic early automation of this thing because it's quite slow to interact with manually. Um, but yeah, you could have totally said if you were having to make new stuff. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, so input, let's put a, a chest here and then some translocators here and here and boom, boom. We're gonna want that going that way. And then we'll just repeat the same on the output. And to be honest, once you're done with that, you could just come put them on. Like, yeah. Yep, so I've got a stack of the glass. Oh, that should be more than enough, to be honest. Okay, I don't have any of the walls. Uh, we'll just finish the roof with glass for a second then to see if it works. I'm sure that'll be fine. No, uh, no, I can't no. remember, one side's done. No. Yep. This side's already complete, so you can go around the other sides. There's a couple missing on this one. It's really hard to see where the glass is. It is actually quite nice glass. And by that, I mean it's totally transparent. So hopefully, oh, look at that. Multi-block complete. So now I should, actually I should be able to connect up from here. If I just pop that back down. This time we're not pumping pressure into the atmosphere. It's much better. <clears throat> Although I don't see any. It does look like we can use the big one for, because it goes only goes up to five bar. So oh, okay. um, on the on some machines, this actually goes up to some bigger number. <laughs> I can't that's, remember that, what. That's real specific. It pressurizes to something, but I can't remember what it pressurizes to. Also, I'm already realizing this is way too slow. We're actually losing pressure. How are we losing pressure? Uh, okay. Well, I've made those pressure walls, so I was going to bust it open and replace oh, those. Oh, is that why we're losing no, pressure? No, I haven't done that yet. Okay. You could do it now. Yeah, just do it now. We're losing pressure for some reason. Maybe you just lose a bit on the pressure chamber all the time anyway. There you go. Which would be annoying. But, okay, let's have a look at speed upgrades because this is a... Uh, this is not as fast as I would like. What? Lubricant. Ah! Oh, we can't make this. Ah! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you found a way? Or... I have the Amadron tablet. Why do I Ooh. feel this needs a oh, lot no. of... Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 okay. No, I have not found a way. It's a way that is a good way going forward, but for now, it no. is uh, It is not useful. Okay, so basically what's happening here is... Ah! No, this does not work. It's what's happening here. I see what the problem is. That's open. No, that's meant to be open. That's meant to be open. If you say so. Yeah. So you see this door looks kind of slid open. Actually, if we get rid of the translocator for a second. Yeah, so now there's like a hole. So basically when you put items in, they'll go into this hole, the door will close, the other side will open up, and yeah, good times. That's how it works. We're still losing pressure. Like, I feel like I'm an idiot. In some way. Why I mean, that's not pressure, pressure related. I wonder if it's just because it's taking. Oh, I don't think. Are we? So I think it's just taking that long to fill up the pressure chamber. So we're not losing pressure. This just hasn't equalized yet, maybe. Yep. I go with what you say. I have no idea. I'm guessing. Ask him for your input. <laughs> maybe. That sounds feasible. <laughs> Your uh, guess is as good as mine. You normally do this. Yeah, I don't really. I've done it like once. I mean, I, I would hardly count that as a seasoned professional I with this stuff. Um, okay. What we're gonna need to do is make this faster, or, or we can just come back in a minute once it's pressurized. Should we just do that? Actually, I think we should. Yeah, because you can't make speaker up upgrades at the minute. No, but I could make more compressors. Um, <laughs> But that, that's boring, so yeah, we'll come back in a second once either I've sped this up or we have more pressure. So guys, in the interest of increasing our pressure operation, I'm just going ahead and making more air compressors, but I'm still adding to this. But what I did want to show you is the way I'm hooking up the conduits is with this conduit probe, which isn't too expensive, and if you've not used it before, um, 
it's just some iron, electrical steel, grains infinity. You had a wrench, electrical steel and stone, nothing too expensive. But you can hold shift and mouse wheel and it'll change between modes. Can't actually remember what blue is. Oh, blue just shows you a load of information about it. But if you uh, go to yellow and then you shift right click something. Oh, that's annoying, you can't see anything for the text. There we go, got rid of it. So shift right click and it'll copy settings. And now you'll see this one only has a green arrow. It's not even got the redstone. If I just right click, it's now got insert and redstone. So this makes like copying settings so much better. Like, yeah, probably should have made this a while ago just for sheer ease of setting up condits. And I missed one, maybe done. Let's see how that's doing. Okay, so we're getting pressure a little bit faster. This thing is still so, so slow at climbing. Like part of me is almost tempted to drop down to the other one. But before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and make this a five by five of pressure uh, air compressors, because why not? And then, then we're gonna come back again. <laughs> so guys, we did it. It is up to four bar pressure and that's that is because I reduced this so it only goes up to four bar now rather than four and a half. Uh, we did go ahead and do a five by five of air compressors. So I mean, maybe that's a little overkill, but until we can make lubricant for speed upgrades, um, in which case we could probably drop this down to one. I mean, the speed upgrades are pretty good from memory, but uh, yeah, for now, that's it. Uh, <laughs> it's working. So to test it works, one of the recipes we can do is rather than exploding iron to get um, compressed iron, we can make it in the pressure chamber, either in block form or ingot form. And because I've set up these translocators, you can just right click on here, I think, and shift click them in. Or you might need to hopper them in. Yeah, you might need to hopper them in or something. If I can put them in here, you'll see that door closes. If we flick around here, that door opens. They'll plop in here. And hopefully, that may have already happened. It might be that quick. So to extract them, yep, there we go. It is done. Done or... Ah. Okay, this is a problem with them. I forgot about this problem. By default, anything that goes in gets extracted and we obviously don't want to extract the iron. We want to only extract the um, the compressed iron. So if we go in here and just set the compressed iron as a filter, now when we put the iron in, if I hadn't left it in the chest, then it should hopefully work properly. I think I might even do them all in a one or now. So it's a little slow, but I think you can like chuck in a whole stack. Was that that fast? No way. That was that fast. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's slow to get stuff in and out, but man, that is a, uh, it's pretty speedy at crafting. I'm kind of glad we did the five by five. That barely dropped any pressure. I did eight, nice. eight blocks of iron. I mean, it's not crazy, but it's not tiny either. Um, and we will actually use these blocks of compressed iron as well, because they are going to be useful for our next thing, which is the refinery. So lubricant for one would be useful, but we are going to be needing plastic for Lawrence to get started on mechanism. Yep. Like, what is it this uh, looking at? The man, what's it called? Uh, the machine? It's the metallurgic infuser. Metallurgic infuser. So this needs plastic somewhere, apparently. Ah, yes, so it needs yep. transistors, which is made in the pressure chamber, which we now have, and we can make all of these things. I don't think we've made an energized capacitor before, but we could. Um, the only thing we can make at the moment is black plastic, and that's made in a plastic mixer with liquid plastic, which we can make from LPG in a refinery. And I say that, the actual... Ah, yeah, so... Because I'm not clicked LPG. Yeah, we can make LPG in a refinery from Pneumaticraft. So here it's shown that if we put an oil, we can get out diesel and LPG. But if we make it a four high refinery, we can um, get diesel, kerosene, fuel and LPG. And you don't actually get any more or less from having higher, but we're as well as getting all four of the fluids. So I think we'll just make four refineries and they just stack on top of each other. So if we have a look at the recipe, we have everything except from HSLA ingots, steel ingots, sorry. 
So that's carbon manganese blend, which is just some graphite dust and manganese dust. I believe Lawrence has already kindly smelted us up some manganese dust, if I could even say that word. Is it over by the crusher? Uh, no, it should be in the system. No, it's over by the crusher. I couldn't find it. I may have been spelling it wrong, I guess. I don't know. Mm, uh, but, but, but. Should be two stacks in here. I got one stack in the crusher. Um, so you can just combine iron. I think it's 15 iron to uh, one manganese. So we probably went a bit over overkill with it. Is it not in the alloy furnace? <gasps> Did I misread this? No, it is. Can we not use pulverized iron? Yeah, pulverized iron plus... Oh, <laughs> so even though I just said it needs carbon manganese blend, I will still just try and throw in manganese blend. Yeah. So let's craft this up with some graphite. We only need the one. Well, if we've got to use, get two anyway, we're as well as um, making the most of it with our iron as well. So let's go shove this back in here. And now that it's the right stuff, yeah, it works. That is better. And this is a nice recipe because it gives you 16 pair. So this is pretty fast crafting, really. But, uh, yeah, we now have our first HSLA steel ingots. And they are maybe useful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they're useful somewhere. Um, so I actually need three more of these because I think we've already got one in the system. We already had four in the system. I didn't need to make any of those. Oh, well, we have more for when we need them. And I want to make four refineries. Boom, done. That was uh, a lot smoother than I was expecting. Where shall we put the refinery? I think right here? No, in this corner. Nope, because that's got a light. Hmm. Actually, this may not block out like, oh, I'm going to have to put stuff under. Oh, I shall put it here and we'll just reroute the the stuff. So you'll see there's an error. These are locked out because it's only one high. If I put another one on, now two of them are open. And we will be back in a minute, guys, because that's the door. So, guys, we have the refinery set up now. Um, so I don't know if it's in the quest book, actually. Yep, so the next thing we need is if we look in this, it says... Temperature 17 degrees. Problems is one is not insulated. Um, actually, can you do me a favor and bring just a bunch of blocks to insulate this? Yep. And also, it doesn't have any heat. So, to give it heat, we're going to want to make a vortex tube. Yeah, a vortex tube and some heat sinks. So, this all looks quite easy. So, I'm just going to quickly fly over and right. make us some of these. Pop but those in the chest for you. You popped them in what chest? There's a chest on the pneumatic craft platform. Oh, I think okay. double one. Fair enough. Uh, so we only need one of these, and we're going to need quite a lot of heat sinks. So I didn't make a stack. See how much we get. We got 36. I feel like that's probably good enough. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and plonk this down. And this, you supply pressure to the vortex tube, and then it heats up the, the reactor. Which is annoying because it means we're gonna have a pipe exposed somewhere. Hmm. Well, whilst you're working on that, I'm literally just about to craft a tier three crafting seed. Oh, nice. Um, we've decided to make the iron seeds first, mainly because it's really quite a cheap recipe compared to some of the other ones. Um, so I need a crafting seed, some intermediate essence, blocks of iron, and some of these ferranium seeds that Johnny has kindly already prepared for me yep uh, so i think i'm actually ready to just go ahead and craft this sounds thrilling <laughs> your enthusiasm levels I are am, through the roof <laughs> i am i am enthusiastic it's just i was thinking no i'm not i'm not ready because i don't have any of the iron okay but i swear i'd made some i do actually have this hooked up now um, so you'll notice one side of this vortex tube goes blue, one goes red. That's because one's cooling and one's heating. And unfortunately, this is the wrong way around. So <laughs> I'm kind of hoping we can just whack this with a wrench. Yep. And now it's the right way around. So because we want this to get hotter than it currently is, we're going to have to dissipate some heat. 
And the way we can do that is with heat sinks. And you put heat sinks on blocks underneath it. This is probably way overkill, too many. But essentially you put down blocks of compressed iron and then you just cover these things in heat sinks. And you'll notice the color kind of keeps changing because it's either cooling down more or dissipating more heat. So I think this is probably going to be plenty for us to get a decent amount of uh, heat in the refinery. Um, or maybe not. It is climbing incredibly slow. What's our pressure at? Four. Yeah, what do we expect? This might be because it's not insulated. Let me try insulating it. Oh, it used the same as the floor. Yeah, I, mm. I just grab box. Okay, so let's wrap this up. And I think this should be fine just to do like this. We'll leave one bit exposed just so we can uh, access the refinery. Well, whilst you do that, I've got... I finally got everything to make the seed, I promise. So okay. I just need to chuck this mana diamond on, and that starts the progress. Now this is... it's not too bad actually. It's quite fast at doing this, mainly because I've got two mana spreaders hooked up to the runic order. Mm. To speed things up. But if I, check I thought it was like instant, to be honest. No, the more mana it costs, the it, um, if it costs more mana it'll take longer. Oh, okay. That is an iron seed now. Awesome. Now, my understanding is, yep, pretty much all of the seeds are crafted using the runic corner altar, like so. So, I think it will just be a case of us doing them off camera. I think. Yeah, I think. I mean, they're not going to be interesting. If there's any that sort of are, um, have something interesting, we could always do them on camera. But most of them are just going to be quite dull, I yeah. would have thought. But, um... So I have went ahead now and I've wrapped the whole refinery bar one block and you'll see the temperature is now at 407 degrees or 10, 15. So this definitely was the problem. Yeah, this is what you want to do. Can you do me a favor and bring over some oil? So yes. I have also hooked up four demonically gargantuan barrels and fluid translocators because the way this works is each one of these tanks will contain a different fluid. So as soon as we start pumping some oil in here, we should, touch wood, be making some uh, some LPG and all of the other good things that comes out of this uh, refinery, which uh, is actually quite a few things. So um, where does this need to go into? This needs to go right here. Okay, there you go. And then it's going to be a nightmare to access anything, but eh, it'll be fine. So yeah, now it's filling up with oil. I don't know that's, quite how fast dope. this thing is. What? It's started already. Has it? Yep. Oh, wow, it's that quick at extracting that you don't even see inside. I, I should have um, I should have maybe done this afterwards. But yeah, so we're already starting to get some diesel, kerosene, fuel, and LPG. And LPG is that good stuff we're looking for because LPG is going to help us get plastic, which is going to make us, allow us to make actual plastic, which is used for enough stuff that is locking out a lot of our progress right now yeah. so uh, i'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this back up so it looks a bit more even uh, also the whole thing was dropping in pressure and heat it's dropping in heat yeah hmm oh this is not good oh it's dropping in heat a lot i wonder no, oh well, it only needs to be over 100 it seems yeah. to have stabilized yeah, I think that'll be yeah. fine running at 188 degrees. So hopefully the next time we come back on, we'll have whatever this oil is all converted into the necessary resources. But nice. I think, actually, let's have a quick look at the quest book. We've got one, two quests in Pneumatocraft, which is nice because we've got that pressure chamber set up and the refinery. And Lawrence got us a nice seat over in the iron mm. area. Just the one. Just the one. But we could do a few of that off camera. Yep. But yeah, I think that's been a pretty good episode. I mean, Pneumatocraft's coming along. We have maybe a bit too many air compressors, but uh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it'll keep us occupied. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. And next time, we're going to be looking at getting some sweet, sweet plastic. See you later. Bye.